yes, there is sex in marriage, but marriage is not a guarantee to sex. Marriage will try you in every way possible. Hi, today's Resolute Christian. So today I'm going to discuss whether an open marriage is acceptable within a Christian marriage, if both parties agree, like, is it acceptable? Can this be done? Um, you know, actually, I had a discussion with my friend about this because, um, you know, this whole Will and Jada situation and they claim to be Christians and they have an open marriage and there's, you know, there's a lot of people these days that are considering, um, you know, this um, avenue. Um, and I thought, okay, let me just actually discuss this with you guys because I'm sure someone might ask themselves that same question. So the dictionary says uh, a open marriage is a marriage or relationship in which both parties agree that each may have sexual relations with other persons. And another definition says an open marriage is a form of ethical non monogamy unlike other forms of monogamy. Open marriage is a form of ethical non-monogamy unlike other forms of marriages such as polyamory that seeks to establish additional partners in a relationship. Open marriages are generally focused on outside sexual connections only. Case is only about actually just having other sexual partners but not actually creating a deeper relationship. And I found in my research that, you know, when people actually consider this route of living, it's often where um, maybe they felt there was lack of excitement in their marriage or, you know, they didn't want to cheat, like lying to their partner to do those things outside. But then if we can agree to it, then it's not cheating. And then also we are, you know, we know what we're doing with cautious type of thing. From what I have, uh, research and found out that most relationships who actually went down that route especially if it's not how they started off with if they um you know previously were monogamous and then later on decided to have an open relationship i found that those things later on actually broke their marriages i.e will and jada we saw how this whole august situation went um uh, marriage, uh, there's this um, TV show about uh, marriages. Um, I think the role, uh, I'll put a picture somewhere here, um, they had an open marriage and it also went downwards because the wife actually caught feelings for another woman. Um, so I would also caution you and let you know that, ask yourself what is the will of God for you in this marriage? What is the will of God? And I always, I always come, I always try to come from a place of non-judgment. Everybody who knows me or is around me knows I'm not judgmental at all. I try to understand everybody's point of view because I believe we all have our different experiences and it's just easy to shut people down when these are real questions that people have. Um... If you feel your spouse is not enough, what can be done about that except going out? Because, you know, the argument that's given with an open marriage is that it is not adultery because you are doing this with consent. But it's not about the consent, really. And that is, the deception that is put out there that because it has been consented for us to go out, it is accepted. God's will, that's not God's will and that is actually breaking that covenant because one thing about the Christian marriage is that it's not just a covenant between the two of you, but it's the covenant between you and God and your spouse. So you break in that trinity and again, sex is... Uh, a spiritual act 
you might say this, you're just doing this physically to just have a quickie. It does not matter how fast, it does not matter how long, it does not matter where. It is uh, a spiritual act and it's a spiritual act and it's an act of worship. Um, having sex with your spouse is an act of worship and you having sex with someone else, um, you are you are breaking that covenant. Also, you're, you're opening yourself up to bondages, sore ties, baggages, all types of things, diseases, pregnancy, children. And at the end, you will realize that it wasn't really worth it. Right, you might say, well, I'm someone who has a high sex drive, okay? And maybe your spouse does not have a high sex drive and it's just not enough for you. What do you do in such situations? Well, um, what did you do before you got married? What did you do before you got married? Okay, you might say, well, I wasn't a virgin when I got married. I had partners, I had people who were maybe more experienced and you had a good time and you, you found the Lord and you decided to get married. But then that, that, that desire is still there. It doesn't just die off, right? See it as an act of service and sacrifice. First of all, you need to speak to your spouse and be honest with them. If that's all they can do, that is all they can do. The rest is for you is to exercise self-control. Exercise your spiritual fruits. Because, um, yes, there is sex in marriage, but marriage is not a guarantee to sex. Yeah, Woo! that is a big blow and that is a big surprise that some people step into marriage and said, yes, the time has come for me to release. And they come into a marriage with a partner who is someone who maybe withholds if they resent. And some people literally have no sex for like six months. Does that justify them going out? Does that justify them saying, okay, well, screw that. And that is why the ministry of marriage and the constitution of marriage is... Uh, it's not for the weak and it's not for everyone. And it is uh, a spiritual exercise. It really is. Marriage will try you in every way possible. <laughs> marriage will try you. But marriage will also build you. Marriage is for strong people. You cannot be weak and be in a marriage for the long haul because marriage will try you even the most sweetest persons have the ugliest signs if it's not sex someone's is finances if it's not finances someone's is sex if it's not uh abuse someone's is, it's it's a whole lot right so approach marriage as a ministry i post approach marry as walking with god um, and tackling each uh, place as a place to grow you, a place to stretch you. Marriage is holy. It is the representation of the Trinity on earth. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. It is the representation of the Trinity on earth. Marriage is holy. And therefore, an open marriage is not the will of God because the Trinity is not, is, is not separated. It's, it's, sex is very much a holy act of worship within uh, a marriage. Sometimes, I don't know how deep you've ever worshipped God before, but sometimes you can be worshipping and you get to a place of your spirit just going to different places. And some people, not that it's like, some people can ex and like, you know, describe it as the climax of how it would, it would be if you had intercourse. 
act of worship. Sex is an act of worship. So what is the will of God for your marriage? What is marriage? What is marriage to you? If you are in a Christian marriage, absolutely not. You cannot have an open marriage. However, whatever struggles you're going through in that marriage right now, whatever sexual desires you may have that you feel like you can't explore with your partner, submit it to God. Submit it to God. I know it sounds easier than it is at the time because the flesh is weak. And the flesh would want to do what it would want to do. And the desire of sex is very strong. However, the same way that when you were not married and you had failed for sex and you did not have a spouse, so you held on to God, that's the way, the same way you have to be in your marriage. Having a spouse does not guarantee sex. How do you overcome that lust of or that that urge? Because it's not a bad thing. Don't ever feel bad. It's not a bad thing because that's that's how God created us. However, submit the situation to God. Exercise self control, and very much importantly, protect your eye and ear gates. Avoid movies, pictures of alluring things avoid speaking to people who keep talking about these things um meditate meditate on the word and god will give you strength and be honest with your spouse be honest with your spouse and i believe uh you you both can work it out marriage is not easy anybody who tells that marriage is easy is lying but marriage is a high commission. Marriage is a high calling. Not everybody gets married. So if you're privileged to be in that, in that constitution, you are counted as one of the strong people and count this as an exercise to train you for greater. I hope this video was helpful and I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye.